Geoengineering is a method to counterbalance um, the effects of global warming owing to the increased uh, concentrations of um, atmospheric greenhouse gases. Geoengineering or climate engineering generally falls into two specific categories. The first of which is called carbon dioxide removal, which um, as the name suggests is basically uh, capturing carbon from the atmosphere and storing it. Um, the second uh, method is uh, what's known as solar radiation management. Now solar radiation management uh, differs from um, carbon dioxide removal in that what you're trying to do is reflect an additional amount of um, sunlight back out to space. So solar radiation management is basically trying to reflect sunlight back out to space, leading to a cooling to counterbalance uh, the increases in greenhouse gases. There's been various different uh, solar radiation management schemes um, that have been mooted as being possible, all of which are basically trying to reflect sunlight back out to space. Um, one of the most popular is to uh, inject some reflective material into the stratosphere. Um, this mimics really the, the impact of uh, volcanic eruptions, um, which have been shown on, on the observational record to cool climate. There's another method, which is um, artificial brightening of um, low-lying stratocumulus clouds. If you inject some aerosol into these low-lying stratocumulus clouds, you can brighten them. And of course, when you get a brightening of, of uh, the planet, you're reflecting more sunlight back out to space. Those are the two most popular uh, solar radiation uh, management techniques that are in the press at the moment. Carbon dioxide removal is often thought of as a relatively benign kind of geoengineering because you're simply reducing the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Um, it's not quite as simple as that because uh, a lot of the land that would be used for general agricultural practices like they are at the moment would have to be converted into um, land for specific growing of biomass burning. Um, so there's certainly some uh, ecological implications um, that are associated with CDR. Um, solar radiation management, um, the main conclusions that are coming out of the, the solar radiation management studies is that you cannot get a no temperature change Earth, no global mean net temperature change, without there being some regional side effects. So although you can hold the temperature of the Earth fixed at, say, present day conditions, you will get um, regional responses in, in both temperature, for instance, the poles will warm up more than the equator, and you will also get impacts on precipitation.